maybe you have a goal right now, which is why you clicked on this video. So maybe you want to lose a certain amount of weight, you want to make this amount of money, or you want to get this type of girl. And then at some point on your journey, you lost that motivation. Well, I'm going to tell you right now the solution. You do not need motivation. You can attach meaning to your life, but that meaning is yours and yours alone. It's not objective. It's not an absolute. Now, first of all, you're asking the wrong question here. You're asking how to get motivated, right? And you think that it is motivation that you need. It is motivation that you want. But is it really motivation that you're after? Why do you want to get motivated? So you can get the result, do the action. So what you really want is to take action and to get that result. It's not to be motivated. Why don't you just go for the ladder instead? Why do you want to go for motivation? Motivation is futile. Motivation, motivation is temporary. Motivation is fleeting. Motivation is emotion dependent, meaning that you will feel motivated when you're happy, when you're excited, when you are aroused, when you're feeling good, right? You will be motivated. But what happens when this emotion of positivity is gone and you're stuck without this positivity? The main problem with motivation is that motivation implies that you need a specific emotional state or psychological state in order to, to take action. And that is at the root cause of the vicious cycle of I, I do not act because I am not motivated and because I do not act, I'm even less motivated and because I'm less motivated, therefore I do not act. And it's just this vicious cycle that keeps going and going and going. And you think you believe that the only way out is through motivation. And that is just false. Taking action is not something that is emotion dependent. Taking action can be done independently of emotional states or psychological states for that matter. There's an alternative to motivation and it is discipline. Motivation is emotion dependent. Discipline is emotion independent. Discipline you can rely on like the ground on the earth. Discipline is created through momentum, through repetitive action. And regardless of what you're, how you're feeling a certain day, if you've built in the momentum of action taking, then the discipline will just follow. The discipline can be your ground. And from the starting point of discipline, you can start taking fucking action. So there are three tips for you for the solution to taking action, right? Don't forget, the question is not how to be more motivated. The question is, how do I take more action, right? Step number one, know what you want. Know, what, know exactly what you want. What is your life purpose? What is your goal? If you have a clear goal, then it's easier to take action towards that goal. If your goal is too vague, too all over the fucking place. Um, I'll make a video on setting goals later on, but just bear with me for now. If your goals are too vague or superfluous, you won't have a groundedness to take action towards those goals. So you need something a little more specific. So once you know what that is, write it down, pin it down, make sure it's clear. Step number two, create a schedule around it. Create a specific routine that you routinely go to. How many times per day are you gonna do it? Or how many times per week are you gonna do it? During the time that you do it, for how long do you do it? And then how many times in a row do you wanna do it? For 30 days, 90 days, an entire year? Then once you have that, then step number three, learn to act independently of your emotions. Now warning, this is a very nuanced point. It doesn't mean to reject emotions. It doesn't mean to suppress emotions. It doesn't mean to run away from emotions. 
just means that regardless of whatever positive or negative states that you're in, if your integrity is clear, if your values are clear, if your goal from step number one, remember, is clear, then regardless of emotional states that you're in, you should still be able to take action regardless. Now, it doesn't mean to not listen to emotions. Emotions can be a great guiding compass towards knowing what you have to do, right? But once you listen to the message of emotions, uh, there's no point in listening to it any, anymore. For example, the fear is telling you, oh, well, I should do this right now. I'm, I'm really afraid, um, but I don't have to do it. So now you got the message. I know I have to do it. Now that you got the message, the, the emotion is fine. Just like, let it go for now and just, just do what you have to do. And then step number four, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, discipline, repeat it until you reach the goal that you want to reach. It's pretty simple. As kids, we had the luxury of doing things only when we felt like doing them. That's a juvenile thing to do as adults. We can't tolerate to just be doing meaningless little tasks and only do things when we feel like it. You have to work, but you don't feel like going to work, well, you're not gonna have food tonight. Simple. As an adult, you take the responsibilities of taking action, going for it. And even if you're not an adult right now, maybe you're 16, 17 watching this, you're going towards adulthood. And if you're watching those videos, I'm assuming you are mature enough to understand this. And if you've gone that far, then you are already an adult in my eyes. You know, because you believe motivation to be the answer, you never actually act on those goals. You never pursue those goals fully because you don't believe that you can take action without motivation while you actually can. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta brute force it. You just gotta brute force it. And as a matter of fact, uh, I did not feel like filming this video uh, earlier today. Um, like two hours ago, I was writing the script for this video. And I was just thinking like, oh, well, I don't feel like it right now. Oh, fuck. And I was writing it and it just felt like drudgery. Like I hated it, just writing through it. And then as I started writing, just, just motivation started to pour, just like, motivation just started happening like oh wait I actually enjoy this this is my life calling this is what i always wanted to do and i was like oh damn this is fucking amazing as shia LaBeouf would say and i say to you just do it do it do it yesterday you said tomorrow so do it don't let your dreams be dreams. Do it. Don't ever wait to be ready because you will never be ready enough in your entire life. As a matter of fact, there is no better moment in my opinion to take action, but right now. Because another day waiting when you could be taking action right now is just another day wasted. Now, do you believe there will be a more better time to take action? A moment that will be more perfect than the present moment? There's, there'll never be a perfect moment to take action. And as a matter of fact, I believe right now is more perfect than tomorrow to take action. So whatever the best time is to take action is right now. So thank you guys for watching. I just want to um, clear the path a little bit because I love you guys. I want to help you guys. Leave your suggestions below because I read every single comment. I reply to every single comment and the best suggestion, I'll make a video about it. And don't forget to click on the fucking bell. So on the bell you receive all my fucking videos. So peace guys, see you on the next vid.